Alright guys, up until this point, <clears throat> we have been talking about writing the inverse of both exponential and log functions. And in particular, those have all been single step processes, okay? However, in this video, we're going to be talking about multi-step. So we're going to be writing the inverse of an exponential, and it's going to be multi-step. Alright, so it's a little bit different, but kind of the same rules apply. Alright, so for example, we've been talking about this. So if we have y equals 5 to the x power, here's our exponential. This would be considered a single step process here of writing the inverse of this exponential. So for example, we know in order to write the inverse here, we replace the y with x and the x with y. So we're going to have this, x equals 5y, and we know that the inverse of an exponential is always going to be a log. So if we look at our log equations up here, here we are in its exponential form. Okay, Let's go ahead and put it into its log form now. So when we do that, we will get y equals log base 5 of x. Okay, so again, the inverse of y equals 5 to the x power will be this log right here. All right, that is a single step process. Okay, however, in this video, we're going to be talking about multi-step. So let's get into the first problem. So we will have here y equals 5x plus 6. So you're going to go through that same process. However, before you do that, when you're dealing with multi-step, you always want to try to isolate the exponential first and vice versa. If we're dealing with a log and you want to get the inverse, you isolate the log, okay? So for example, right here we have our exponential. I want to isolate this 5 to the x power, okay? And in order to isolate that, I need to subtract 6 on both sides. So what this looks like now is y minus 6 equals 5 to the x. Okay. Now that you have the exponential isolated, okay, now you want to go ahead and replace the y with x and the x with y. Okay. So again, once you have it isolated, replace the y with x and the x with y. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll have x minus 6 equals 5 to the y. Okay. So looking up here, we have okay, our exponential form of our log, meaning that this whole part here is acting like my x. Here's my base, and here's my y, right? So if we want to put this into the log form now, we can do that by simply just rewriting it, right? So our final answer here will be y equals log base 5, and then we have this whole part here, x minus 6, all right? And that is done, okay? So let's try another multi-step problem here. So now we have y equals 2 to the x minus 6. Actually, let's do plus 6 here. And then plus 2. So again, first step, isolate the exponential. So the exponential here is going to be this whole thing right here. We want to isolate that. So in order to do that, we subtract the 2. So we have y minus 2 now equals 2 to the x plus 6. Now that we have the exponential isolated, we want to go ahead and replace the y and x values. So I'm going to replace this with x. So we have x minus 2 equals 2 to the y plus 6. And this can all be in parentheses here. So again, looking at our exponential form of a log, we have it written right here. This whole part is my x. This whole part is my y. Okay, and going from our exponential to our log, we can rewrite this as, and we're going to 
bring this down, so we'll have y plus 6 equals log base 2 and then x minus 2. Okay, our last step here is just to get rid of this positive 6, so we have y equals here. So our final answer here will be y equals log base 2 x minus 2, and then again we're going to subtract 6 on both sides, so minus 6. And that is it. All right, so that is the inverse. Okay, let's try one more problem here. Here's our final problem. So we have our exponential. We want to take the inverse. Right. So isolate the exponential first. Again, this whole part is my exponential. We want to isolate it. So we need to subtract 2 on both sides. So let's go ahead and do that. This point now that we have it isolated now we can go ahead and replace our x and y so let's do that so we have x minus 2 equal to 3 so we have 3y minus 2 okay so again here we are we have our exponential form of our log so again this whole part right here is serving as my x and this whole part here is serving as my y. Let's go ahead and put it into its log form now. So when we do this, we get 3y minus 2 equal to log base 3. And then we have x minus 2. Next step, again, we want to get this to say y equals here. So we're going to add 2 on both sides. So now we have 3 y equals log base 3, x minus 2, and then again, plus 2, right? We want to add 2 on both sides so it cancels out on the left. Our last step here is just to divide by 3 now. So we're dividing this whole thing by 3, so our final answer here, there's a couple ways you could write this, but we'll write it like y equals, and we're going to have log, we we'll have x minus 2, plus 2, and this is all going to be over 3, okay? And that is it. Okay, so that is writing the inverse of exponential functions, in particular multi-step. And the next video, we'll be talking about writing the inverse of logs using multi-step. It's the same process, except it's in reverse. All right.